Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, Jen, and in today's video is part two of how to make a watermark using Canva. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you are automatically notified when I upload my videos. So now let's get started. First, you want to obviously get onto Canva and then put in custom dimensions. I'm just gonna do 1500 by 1500. You could do whatever size you want, <clears throat> excuse me. In Canva, you could go up to 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, which is really cool. So, I'm gonna do 1500 by 1500. I'm gonna come over here to upload, and I'm going to find, what. There it is, right here. Now we designed this already in the last video, and pretty much when you make a watermark, you could do it however you want. You could do it up and down, all the way down. You could do it side by side, like diagonally, all the way across. You could do it however you choose. I do like it diagonally. So we're going to do mine in diamonds. And I'm just going to make duplicates. And every time I make a duplicate, I'm going to resize it. Just a little bit. And then we'll come back over here. We'll do the same thing. Oops, that was a little too short. Just want to be able to see my name a little. All right. We come over here, duplicate, right about there. And then again, duplicate or copy. All right, so I'm going to show you how to duplicate. Click on the image you want to duplicate or copy, and you can come up to right and press copy, and that will give you a copy of the image. Or you could press Control D, and you got a copy. It's very easy. All right, so now that I've got that, I want to make another copy of one. So control D is like what I like to use. I'm going to flip this the other way. And that's as simple as that. That's exactly what we do. And you can make it lighter, darker, however you want to make it. Make this one smaller. And watermarks are really good for when you make designs so that people don't take your design and steal it and sell it on a different platform or without your acknowledgement. And you just want to show people a preview of your design. I'll show you. Now that that's made, this watermark, I am going to save it. 1500 by 1500. I always do the size first. Let's put J Pot Designs Watermark 1. We'll just put watermark 1. Download. I like to do PNG. Transparent background so that you don't get this white and then you download. So now that we have done this, 
I'm going to come back over here to home. I'm just going to open up one of my images. Um, let's do... Just go back up here and do this image. Okay, now I'm going to upload my watermark. There it is. It's usually in my downloads. Click on that. Open. Let it upload. And just place it over your image. It's very simple. And there you go. You just made a watermark. You can make it that big. You can make it smaller. You know, play around with it. See? You can have it just across. But that's how you make a watermark using Canva. If this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified the second I upload my videos. Y'all have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out for now.